My name is Sean Crowder, and I play the drums. Over the last 22 years, I've managed to turn a childhood dream into reality. I've performed around the world, forged incredible friendships, and embarked upon a journey that my 10-year-old self could never have imagined. This is not a story about how awesome my life is, and it definitely hasn't been easy. But as someone who never felt particularly talented, I like to think it's a story of hope. This is my story, told through music. And it all began right here. The earliest photo I have of me on the drums is this one. The drums belong to my dad. I don't remember this at all. I was not the kind of kid that was banging on pots and pans. It wasn't until I was 10 years old that my parents suggested I try playing an instrument. And the only instrument I was really interested in was the drums. So that fall, I joined the school band and started taking lessons. Now the early years for me were rather unremarkable. I don't think I showed any particular natural talent and I definitely didn't play any better than the other kids. I was at best average and even that I had to work pretty hard at just to keep up. So this next clip is a drum solo that I played after about one year. that followed, I started making more progress. I joined the school jazz band, which allowed me to play drum set at school. Once I got to high school, things started to get a little more serious. I was playing cooler gigs, I was in the marching band, I was taking private lessons, and my technique was getting a lot stronger. these experiences, I started gaining more confidence, my skills were definitely improving, and it was here that I started to have the first inklings of the thought that maybe after high school I would want to study music and actually become a musician. And from that point on, I had one goal, and that was to play as much as possible. It didn't matter what the gig was, what the style of music was, I thought if I'm going to be a professional, I need to be able to do all of this. <laughs>
in the last couple of years of high school, I had this snowball effect kick in, and this was the accumulation of all the practicing I'd done and the progress I'd made. Now I was able to play in better bands. I was getting better instruction, which led to even faster progress, and that led to better opportunities, and the whole thing just kept accelerating. <laughs> Big part of my development during that period was drumline. Denver, By this time, I had committed fully to becoming a professional musician. And so in 2006, I graduated high school and moved to Boston to attend the Berklee College of Music. And the goal here was largely unchanged for me since high school, and that was simply to play as much as possible.
After Berkeley, I moved to New York and started gigging. I moved into an apartment with these classy roommates. And as a drummer, bassist, and guitarist, we became the backing band for all of our singer-songwriter friends. We also had our own band. I ain't seen the sun shine since uh, I don't know when, but I know. And slowly but surely, we started playing out more and more. Somewhere around 2012 or 13, I started getting into electronics, and this led to the creation of the band Inside Outside with Adam Neely and Wim Layson. In 2013, I was focusing a lot more on my own ideas and trying to find my own voice on the instrument. By 2014, I was busier than ever playing gigs of all styles of music. Also during this period that Adam and I released our first Sungazer EP. And in the fall of 2014, I got a call to go on tour with the Tunisian artist Amel Mathluthi. And from there, the next few years for me are honestly just kind of a blur.
2018, my band Sungazer was putting the final touches on our second EP. The EP came out a few months later in January 2019, and we went on the road. brings us to the present day. If there's one thing I learned from this journey, it's that I did not do this alone. Without my community, my teachers, and my fellow musicians, I would not be where I am today. The story is not over. In many ways, I feel like I'm just getting started. It's not the destination that counts, it's the journey.